This video is so easy to produce. With a formation that sits on its own growth and nobleman star, along with the artistic eating god formation, what else could the Kui Mao have but the gift of creativity? And how about author Stephen King to represent this gift? Artistic, slightly weird, prolific, creative, this guy. But before we get into all that, welcome back as we continue our series exploring the 60 pillars. Thanks for watching. My name is Pauline Cheng and I am a life coach who specializes in career and business. And I use Chinese metaphysics to empower, not to disempower. Okay, so have you ever wandered out into your garden or to the park at sunrise? You know that magical hour between complete darkness and full sunlight when the sky is tinged a rosy pink from the early rays of the sun. Look down. See the morning dew glistening on the leaves and flowers. That little drop of water resting gently on the petals is what the Kui Mao pillar represents. You see this picture? OMG, isn't it pretty? Okay, so just like the morning dew, the Kui Mao Day Master is gentle and just a tiny bit ethereal, but what lurks beneath this conservative, compassionate and kind persona is what we are really interested in because this artistic eating god formation indicates an acute intelligence, extreme clarity of thought and a day master who is not afraid to be creative. But before we talk about Making this better, let's explore the strengths of the Kui Mao Pillar. Okay, let's start with your Kui Water Day Master. Ethereal, changeable and mysterious. Most Kui Water Day Masters tend to be easy to know but difficult to understand. Think of the Kui Water as the clouds, right? Pretty puffy white clouds one minute, looming thunderstorms the next and We've not even met the most mysterious of the Kui water yet. So this changeability of the Kui water makes it easy for you to work well with others. But even more importantly, lies a hidden talent that most Kui water may not be aware of. The ability to subtly change the ideas, beliefs and emotions of others. This makes the Kui Mao a very astute people observer. So, let's talk about more about your strengths. Okay, your Kui Water Day Master produces your Yi Wood Output Star. In your case, this star represents your eternal quest for knowledge, your active imagination, as well as your idealistic and highly individualistic approach to life. In fact, uh, one of the standout characteristics of the Kui Mao Day Master is your openness to knowledge from any source constantly exploring, the more you learn, the more creative you become. But more than that, your Kui water represents emotions and ideas. Your eating god represents effective thinking. Put the whole picture together and you get a day master who excels at coming up with fast, effective, spur of the moment and out of the box solutions. This means that you are not the type to absorb and regurgitate information. Instead, again, the more knowledgeable you are, the better you become at creating new ideas or solutions. Okay, so and then we have your Mao or Rabbit Brunch. This is your personal nobleman star. Technically, it's called a day noble. When there is nobility in the chart, it typically means that you have access to support from other people. But if you want to take it to the next level, think of it this way. You have been blessed with the capacity to help others. But what or how does this nobility pan out? What kind of help? Specifically, in your case as a Gui Mao Day Master, it typically pans out as access to information multiple sources of information. The larger your network of information, the easier it is for your artistic eating god formation to create new lines of thinking and solution. Nothing delights the Kui Mao more than the ability to come up with new ideas and new approaches. Okay, 
So how do you present? Like all Kui Day Masters, the first impression you give is as someone who is friendly and able to get along with, well, pretty much anyone. Likeability factor is high, given that this Kui Water Day Master sits on the Mao branch, which is also a peach blossom star. However, the Kui Mao can seem to be just a little cold or detached. Some might even go as far as to label you a diva. Well, the eating god can be very high class. In Malaysia, we call it atas. Okay? But here's why. While the Kui Mao Day Master is friendly, you are also extremely discerning. The Kui Mao pillar does not deal with blind acceptance. In other words, you will not tolerate fools. That's why they call you atas. Okay? So, now let's talk about your vulnerabilities. Number one, please beware the negative thoughts. This will tend to happen when water energies are particularly strong. In this case, it's a matter of tweaking your, <coughs> your internal conversations to turn the negative into positive. The morning dew needs something to rest upon. Usually, it's the leaves and petals. This scenario denotes the sense of belonging that is always sought by the Kui Mao. This sense of belonging that you crave for can be the one that lands you in trouble. You demand perfection in your relationships, but there is no such thing as a perfect relationship. So as a result, please be aware that this, this elusive sense of belonging may inadvertently translate into an excessive attachment to material, material things. When your sense of self-happiness and self-satisfaction is driven by what you have instead of what you create, it's time to pull the handbrakes. Okay? So, let's talk about Kui Mao, but better. Even though the Kui Mao sits only on a single hidden stem, it seems to be already loaded with gifts. So, how to make it better? The Yi Wu eating god, this one, must be protected at all costs. It must be allowed to flourish and blossom. In this case, one recommendation is for you to learn better management skills. It could be time management or people management or let's just put it under a single umbrella and call it resource management. I know this sounds counterintuitive. Why am I proposing a recommendation that seems to constrain creativity instead of unleashing it? On the contrary, Better time management helps you free up more hours for creativity and helps you stay focused. Better resource management helps you prioritize and improve your creative output. Like this guy. Don't you think that he practices time management? I bet you he does. Okay, so that's the Kui Mao Day Master in a nutshell. But before you go, a final caveat. Without the ability to see your full chart, I must stress, suggestions in this article are broad recommendations based on a single pillar alone, and that would be your day pillar. Are you a Kui Mao Day Master? You can plot your Bazi chart from the free plotter link in the description. If you've got a question, drop it in the comments. Otherwise, until I see you in the next video, since you are very discerning, your endorsement carries weight, so please help me share this video or at least just like and subscribe. Okay, until I see you in the next video, goodbye.